Hi everyone, this is Dory from the Victor Farmington Library. Once again, I'm here to tell you about our teen craft of the week. This week we're doing bottle cap art. We'll be making bottle cap pins and magnets. We have a limited number of kits available at the library for free. So please stop by the library and pick one up while supplies last. The kits will have enough supplies for you to make your own bottle cap art, which you can turn into either a pin or a magnet. All right, let's get started. If you were able to pick up one of the kits at the library, these are some of the items that you'll find in the kit. Um, should have some bottle caps to make into your art. These are some bubble stickers that will go on top of your art. Um, we also included some pin backs to turn your bottle caps into pins and some adhesive magnets to turn your bottle caps into magnets. Some things you might also need are some glue. A pencil will be helpful for tracing your design. Scissors you'll need to cut out your design to fit in your bottle cap. And then depending on what you want to put in your bottle cap, um, you can draw your own design for that or you can print out a photo. You can cut out items from a magazine that you like. So what you put inside your bottle cap is totally up to you. The first thing you're gonna do is decide what art you wanna put inside your bottle cap. I decided to print out a photo of my daughter's cat. So I think she's really cute and I think I'm gonna make it into a button. So first you wanna take your bottle cap and just use it to trace the area that you want to go inside. I just want the kitten's head. And then take a pencil and lightly trace the circle so that you get the right size. Okay, and then all you need to do is cut out the circle. Okay, and make sure it fits inside. Okay, that's really cute. So now real easy, you just wanna glue your art inside the bottle cap. Just a couple tiny little drops of glue. Make sure that stays. Okay, and then I'm just gonna let that dry. And then once it's dry, I'm gonna put a bubble sticker on top. I let the glue dry so this artwork should be dry in there. So now I'm just going to take one of the bubble stickers, just peel one off and stick it on top. That's really cute. Now I want to make this into a pin. So I'm just going to turn it over. Take one of my pin backs and I'm just going to glue it right on to the back. I'm just gonna take a little bit of glue. Just put that right on the back, Let, hold it on for a couple minutes. Now we just need to let that dry. You don't want to um, try and pin it to anything or really touch it much until that glue dries thoroughly. In the meantime, let's make our magnet. So I decided for the other bottle cap, I was going to make a magnet and I decided to just make a summer reading magnet using this image for summer reading that says, imagine your story. So I actually already did this because you don't need to see me cut it out again. I cut out the circle and I glued it inside the bottle cap. So again, that's already been allowed to dry. I'm gonna take another one of these bubble stickers and just stick it on top. 
nice. Imagine your story. And this one, I just want to make into a magnet. So I turn it over, take one of my adhesive magnets, stick it on the back. Easy peasy, now we have a magnet. All right, now I'm just gonna wait for the pin to dry and we'll be all set. Ta-da, here they are. Oh, this pin is so cute. This is Lily the kitty. Oh, I'm gonna give that to my daughter. And then this one is my summer reading magnet. Imagine your story. Ta-da! These are really fun to make. I think I'm gonna make some more. I hope you have fun. If you were able to get this kit, I hope you enjoyed it. If you weren't able to pick up the kit, you should be able to find a lot of these supplies at a craft store. Check in next week for next week's Teen Craft of the Week. Thanks.